for this wall I'm just I'm kind of just freestyling it right now with some spray paint first and then uh, all of it will get hidden with just a full body of paint on throughout the, the wall but yeah I've been painting hummingbirds for a while so I kind of already got a good uh, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with it I'm just basically like filling in space wherever it, it looks cool but like Try to keep it with the flow, you know? Mm -hmm. I pretty much have the initial concept, but um, I've been freehanding everything from the beginning. Uh, but I did have a painting that I did for my mom, and it was just a hummingbird with a bunch of like flowers as an arch. Mm -hmm. So I figured I was gonna do that here. And <clears throat> but as far as you know, it being the same look of, of the painting I had, it's totally different. It's a totally different size of painting and you know it's just a lot more colors. The reason why I chose the hummingbird was because it's a symbol of growth and it ties into the theme of like the Boys and Girls Club where they come and, and they grow up and they move on with their lives and the hummingbird is just kind of flying through the hall and out towards the exit just like the kids kind of you know they come in they learn and then they grow and then they move on with their lives. Um, the Boys and Girls Club has been here since 1929. So I think it's very important for students to be able to see colors and just help them with their creativity. Uh, in the past, the Boys and Girls Club had, you know, the gray walls and it, it kind of looks like a, a little bit like a prison, but we want to make sure that the community gets to see we're making changes that will really impact the way students are learning and that the community cares for them. So um, one of the things that I'm very grateful for is for Gabriel Marquez to actually be here uh, in the heart of the Segundo Barrio, making a difference in the lives of the kids that need it the most. I just wanted to say how grateful I am to Gabriel for being here, taking time out of his schedule and doing this entire project uh, for free. Uh, and making an impact and having the kids see that artists are interested in their future and that they can be really anything that they want to. I think that's the whole point of doing murals is for the public to get inspired and want to do art and just kind of add to the culture here in El Paso.